Uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, I think so you my screen is visible to you. Anyone can reply. Yesterday we had started the solving the compression in the octopus. That example we started. Uh, this example I started in a roof press consists of single angle ISA 1990 by 6 mm. Find the ultimate load uh, carrying capacity of the member if uh, if it is connected to 8 mm thick cassette plate by a case 1 one board, it, this case 1 is completed, uh, case 2 is 2 boards and case 3 is 4 bed. So here already case 1 you have completed and you got the this given, uh, return the given and then case 1, this one we have completed uh, yesterday. Okay. Where, what is the case one? A single angle is connected with the single board with the cassette plate. Okay, that is the case one. So yesterday we have completed the case one and now today we will start the uh, case two. Today we will start the case one. Case two is nothing but uh, we have to We have to uh, complete uh, 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 that. We have to find out the design strength of uh, that uh, compression member in the roof truss uh, for uh, if connected with the two board. Okay. So this already we have completed, and uh, first we have to find out the uh, effect to length. Then we find out uh, as per the uh, given section. We write, out, write down the properties of the section and then we find out the cylinder ratio of the section and then uh, buckling class of the section and then lambda. Uh, by knowing the lambda, we can find out the FCD and PD is equal to FCD into E. And then we find out the AD is equal to AE, that is, uh, uh, that uh, AD is equal to AE if, 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 if the section is. At least in compact or semi compact, plus in case of angle section. But here our section is cylinder, then we have converted it into the semi compact limit by uh, deducting the area or by not considering the shaded portion in blue color. This portion we are not considered uh, in calculation, only effective area. This portion we have completed for our calculation. The length of uh, leg only considered 75 mm. Uh, for the effective area and then find out the effective area then effective area into the FCD will, uh, we will uh, uh, find out the design strength of that uh, compression in the case 1. Now we will come to the case 2. What is the case 2? Uh, today is the lecture number 4, 24 and uh, today is uh, 3rd of September. Okay, so case two is case two is when when the ISA ninety ninety by six is connected with connected with connected with two volt two volt. This is the case. Unsupported length of mirror is given to 0.4 meter. Okay, and the sectional properties of ISA 1990 by 6 already yesterday we have done. Sectional properties of ISA 1990 by 6. That is minimum R minimum is R B B. Yesterday we find out from the steel table. So from the steel table, this. Uh, R minimum is nothing but R B that is 17.5 that is 17.5 uh, new students are seeing new today uh, but already we have finished 1.5 minutes we are so late, all the 
uh, video lectures are recorded and shared on your Google Classroom. So you can see their voice there and make their own notes. Okay. For this one, uh, uh, I will not write down all the properties. It is already written here uh, in previous uh, class. Okay. And then uh, you can find out the land law by knowing the end. So in this, in this case, what will be the end? Because two bolts are connected. Now, uh, two bolts are connected. How many bolts are connected? Two bolts are connected. But two bolts connected, eh? so the effective length will change. And one bolt connected means what? One bolt here. Discontinuous means a single angle connected with one bolt. So our effective end is one end. The k value is one in previous our uh, previous uh, calculation. You can see here we have taken the k value is one. Right? K value is in effective end we have taken one. Okay. But if now two bolts are connected, so here the k value so step number one. You have to find out the LE. L is nothing but k into n, and k value here is 0 0.85 into unsupported then that is l is 2.4 meter that is 2400 uh, meter mm -hmm. sorry so if I will find out the effect to then 2400 mm is 2040 mm 2040 okay this is the equivalent in case of if the number is connected with the uh, how many board to board the number is connected with the two board. this we from this angle uh, if this condition was single angle connected with more than one board or when the vector value is 0 0.85 okay so this we have taken 0 0.85 uh, so this case one, case two and case three will be same. If you say. Okay, only connection is changed uh, from more than uh, one bolt and the weld. Okay, so the single angle section. So case one and case case two and case three we will uh, uh, assume as same. Now what is the lambda? Now we know the LE. So lambda is equal to lambda is equal to LE upon R minimum, L upon R minimum, or you can write down K L upon R minimum. So K L upon R minimum, K L is two zero four zero. R minimum is seventeen point five mm. So we'll get the lambda value. Two zero four zero divided by seventeen point five. It is one one six point five seven. One one six point five seven. It is the dimension is complete because this is even this is even. There is no dimension that cylinder is showing dimension less quantity. Then third, we have to know so to find out the uh, FCD. You should know the uh, buckling class. So you have to find out the buckling class of your section and buckling class, buckling class. Oh, angle is angle is C class. So any type of uh, member that is channel section, uh, angle section, so from table number uh, 10 of IS code, from table number of 10 of IS 800 2007, you can easily uh, uh, find out the buckling class of the section. So in IS code, you can see table number uh, 10 on page number 44. If you come to the page number 44, this table number 10 is visible to you. Uh, Table number 10. Cross section limits buckling about axis and the buckling class. So any member channel section, either angle section, P section, or solid, rectangular, or circular bar, any axis, the buckling class is C class. Okay? That's why in previous also that is C class. So I have written here the buckling class will be uh, your C class. So here also buckling class will be C class. Okay, lambda we know now, we know this. Now we have to find out the FCD from table number 9C. Why 9C? Why we are to go for the table 9C? Because in our case, the buckling class is the C class. Buckling class is the C class. 
So we will uh, find out the FCD. Find out FCD. Find out FCD. And that FCD uh, from from table number table number nine C table number nine C. So if you go to table number nine C uh, on page number uh, this. Table number nine uh, D. Now we'll come table number nine C. If we come to the table number nine C, so what we will require? We require the KL by R value that is lambda. KL by R value is nothing but lambda. We need the A B stress F Y. F Y is two fifty, and we can find out the F C. So in in our case now, so now the lambda is lambda in our case is one one. Six point uh, how much? Five seven one one six point one one sixteen five seven. Okay, so this के लिए FCD क्या रहेगा? That we have to find out. Okay, from table number nine. So from table number nine, see we know the value of F Y. F Y is two fifty. We know the value of lambda one one six point five seven. Okay, now we can find out the FCD. So if you come to the table number nine, see. You can see here uh, our F Y value is 250 and lambda is 116. 1116 is in between 1110 and 1120. So lambda value, uh, sorry, F C D value for 1110 is 94.6. I will write here uh, the F C D value. F C D value for lambda is equal to 1110. The F C D is 94. 94. Point, uh, 94. Point, nine. It is 83.7. Nine. For one ten. 94. Point six. Sorry. 94. Point six. And for lambda value is equal to 120. Is के लिए भी FCD दिया है. That FCD is 120 के लिए. It is 83.7. 83. 83. 83.7. So lambda value it is given for 110 and 120. It is not given for 1116. So 1116 के लिए हमको मालूम करना पड़ेगा. So by interpolating we can find out. So FCD for FCD for 1116.57 is equal to interpolation से मालूम करेंगे. So if I will take the higher value. Then I have to minus. If I will take the lower value, then I have to uh, uh, plus. So I will take the lower value. If I will previous, we have taken the upper value, so plus. Now I have taken this value, so that's why I will take this. Okay, so 120 minus 116.57 divided by 120 minus 1110. The difference of two higher values. These are the higher values and the lower values. Difference of that into into the difference of the difference of your values that is 94. Point, how much? 94. Point six six minus 83. Point zero. 94. Point six minus 83. Point zero. Okay. So this way you can find out the FCD by interpolation. So by interpolation. By interpolation, interpolation, we can find out, can find out, find out. FCD for design complete stress for for lambda is equal to one one sixteen point five seven. So if I calculate this, so one twenty minus ten is ten. 120 minus 116.57 is 20 minus 116.57 is 3.43, 3.43, and here 94.6, 94.6 minus 83.7, it is 10.9, 10.9. So 10.9, what will be the answer? 83.7 plus 3.43. Into 10.9 divided by 10, that will be the answer. 
So if I will write 3.43 into 10.9 divided by 10, 3.7, this value is coming, this whole value or uh, internally vacated bracket is coming 3.738 plus plus 83.7, which is coming something, FCD is coming 87.43 Newton per mm square. Okay, now now what is the uh, design strength of compression member? That is PD is equal to A into FCD. A into FCD. So uh, already in previous class we have calculated that uh, our our uh, section is cylinder section. So that's why we have converted into uh, converted into a semi compact unit. So how we are converted into semi compact unit? Because our section our section, this angle section is 1990 by 6, uh, it is slender. So, to bring it into the uh, semi compact limit, to bring it into the semi compact limit, you have reduced, uh, reduced the leg length of your uh, member that is 75 75 at both sides. Okay, so area, effective area already, we have already, already earlier cal calculated. How you can calculate that is. Uh, 2 into 2 legs are there, 75 minus T by 2 into T. And that is 2 into 75 minus uh, T by 2 is 3 into 6. Uh, it, this value is coming something uh, uh, we have calculated earlier. This value is coming 864 mm square. So 864, 864, 864 mm square. Now we know that. Area, Hamko Manu, FCD, Hamko Manu, the PD will be equal to uh, A 864 mm square into FCD is something 87.43 Newton per mm square. 87.43 Newton per mm square. Other multiply per day. So Newton mm square will be cancelled into 87.43 into 864, which is coming around. 75.55 into 10 raised to 3 newton. If I write in per newton, then P D will be 75.55 kilo newton. Okay, so this is uh, nothing but the case case two. The case two where we is coming. How much? 75.54 Okay, now, now we will go for the case 3. Case 3. What is the case 3? Case 3 is the single angle, the single angle, I say 90, 90, 90 by 6 is connected with it. It's connected uh, with wind. So here, uh, if you come to the effective length of uh, discontinuous member when it is connected with the uh, welder, uh, so again it is uh, it is 0.85 in. Again, it is the 0.85 in, or so that's why here you can say that the PD. PD is same as uh, 20.57 kilonewton as uh, above case. Okay. okay, so so our example, this example uh, which we are solving is completed today. So this example uh, uh, is. Uh, there is that again, a 3 meter, uh, sorry, this one not, it's already for the column. This example, I study in a row first, this complicated way. Now we will take one example, uh, 
for the double angle connected with the uh, section if I uh, will consider. Okay, so this uh, you should be you should able to uh, solve any type of problem. There is little bit changing, not too much changing is there. So you should be uh, able to solve any type of problem in compression. The steps are same. Already we have seen the steps for design of compression paper, how to calculate the steps are same. First we have to calculate the uh, effect length, then we have to find out the lambda, by we have to find out the muscle class, then we have to find out the section classification. Section classification section is uh, Compact, semi compact, or uh, plastic, then it is AG is equal to AE. Otherwise, uh, you have to reduce the section to bring into the at least semi compact unit, what you have done here, and then we have to find out the PD. Okay, so like we have solved this example, so this is the uh, what about. So once again, uh, uh, you can uh, see the step. Uh, to solve the uh, this uh, uh, problem, so I will repeat the steps. You can see here step by step procedure, uh, and then the first find out the actual length of the section using table number eleven of IS eight hundred two thousand seven page number forty five. Page number forty five paragraph eight hundred. We have the actual length of section the our table number eleven. Page number number eleven. The actual length of arithmetic compression in bar. Okay. For different end condition is given, and both side fixed, when both side, when one side fixed, one side hinge, when one side fixed, other side roller support, both side hinge, if one in hinge, other side roller support, and if one end is fixed, other three. For all these conditions, the effective length of compression member and column all is that rather per column it is given. Okay, and for strut we have. Given uh, the table. So, this first the, we have to find out AD, AD is k times n, k, k value you can find out from table number IS 11 or uh, from the table IS. Then, the second step you have to assume the FCD if section is given. So, based on assumption of FCD, assume the FCD for root truss member is there 80 to 120. 80 to 120 to the which we have to do the column, and the column is 127 to the which we have to do the FCD is assumed. Okay, FCD is assumed. So now you can find area required because you know the load. If you know the load, then put the value of FCD assumed and you can find the area required. Based on the area required, you can select the section from the screen table. Section from the STV table or IS 808 After the selection section, you have to find out the section classification, you have to find out the section, buckling classification of section, and based on the buckling classification of section, you have to use the table from 9A to 9D to find out the FCD of the number. And if section classification, if section is 1, 2, and 3 class, uh, that is 1 is the plastics. Two is the compact, third is the semi compact class with the section is in between this from table number two. The section classification we are uh, doing from table number two of your IS uh, 800. IS 800 to the one table. Okay. So from this table, you can uh, find out the section classification. If section is plastic or compact or semi compact then a e is equal to a e. okay if section is cylinder then you have to bring the uh, uh, cylinder section at least in a in, in a uh, semi compact unit then design strength of section is nothing but pd is equal to a e into fcd pd is equal to a e into fcd and to find out this value this value that pd should be greater than P, then you will say that your design is okay. Otherwise, you have to reselect the section and redesign again all the steps, and you can find out 
Okay, so this is all about uh, your design of compression member. And this uh, this column design uh, we have done one example and one one example we have done uh, your uh, this design of the strut with one single mode with two mode and with the uh, grid. So this is also we have completed today. So that's why uh, this is uh, uh, this example. Uh, from the compression number for single angle and for the column simply compared to your single. Now, from tomorrow, from next class, we will see the how to design the built up member, built up compression member. If I section with the plate, if if I will uh, uh, one in the same plate, two angle section are there, then how we will design the compression member that we will see uh, uh, next class and if you have doubt, any doubt today, you can ask. Of course, if you start the problem, it will not finish on time. So we will stop here. If you have any doubt, you can ask with me, and I will clear your doubt. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Otherwise, we will stop. And tomorrow, we will solve the uh, Another uh, type of the uh, example of compression number design, then there is uh, two angle connected back to back or built up compression number. If you have any questions, you can ask me. No, sir. Thank you. No, sir. Kuch